has the circus separated you from your family in some way? Has the circus separated you from your friends? Has, you know, I, I know that this has been going on in one way or another, and we've, we've dribbled these little stories into the show from time to time, but I want to know just how it has affected you. And I started a thread on, I started a thread on Reddit. Here it is. Have you been disinvited to 2021 holiday gatherings? with friends and or family. Tell us about it. I have a couple here that I want to talk about. There's a few more on the Twitter thread when I tweeted it out there to get the the thread out to people to have more people contribute. And um, and yeah, I, I want to do that with you all because it hits home. It hits home. This particular thing right here hit home. Holiday hell. Three in five Americans banning unvaccinated relatives from family gatherings. The holidays are about to get heated, and politics aren't even the main issue this time. Nearly two-thirds of vaccinated Americans are banning unvaccinated family members from their holiday gatherings this year. And it's true. This is not... It's it's polit, It's not political. Some people think it's political. Um, but it's not. This has gripped people on both sides. You know, uh, there are a lot of Democrats out there think that think that embracing the vaccines is some kind of a uh, progressive pro-science position when it was Donald Trump's project, a project that many of us think is one of the biggest blunders of his presidency, if not the biggest, because, uh, I mean, listen, the the dollar was always going to die. So to say that, to say that Donald Trump was the, the kill shot for the, um, the economy when we're already tens of trillions of dollars in debt when he arrived and then they threw this pandemic lockdown and then 10 trillion dollars for the stimulus comes around whatever the dollar is going to die one way or another we're still waiting where the hell are we going to next with that but this biological thing this is something completely different so uh, there's a lot of people who think that this is, is is political and i guess for some it is but they don't know how shallow that thinking is uh, there's plenty of Republican types out there who have already gotten several boosters, I'm sure. Mixing and matching this patchwork quilt of shots. Um, yeah. The holidays are about to get heated. A survey of 2,000 U.S. residents conducted by one poll on November 2nd examined how the COVID-19 vaccine has impacted people's relationships with their loved ones ahead of the holidays this year. According to the results, two in three respondents feel they cannot go home for the holidays without getting vaccinated first. Of the 65% who are fully vaccinated, nearly six in 10, that's 58%, have reportedly cut off family members who refuse to get the vaccine. Meanwhile, 63% don't feel comfortable inviting unvaccinated relatives to their parties, which is the most retarded thing you can think of if if just the it's the, it's the, it it just has there's no sense there's no sense especially if this is really the miracle serum that everybody says it is then you should be the most confident the confident people in the world covid vaccine controversy 72% of vaccinated respondents don't think that they could ever get some of their family members to understand the importance of the vaccine on the other, well, yeah, because after a certain age, you can't really tell. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm trying to remember the audience we have. After a certain age, after learning certain things about certain mystical figures in our life, uh, could you ever sell them on, you know, uh, leaving a tooth under the, the, the your, your pillow for the tooth fam- fairy again? Could you ever do that? Once the logic has been broken, and once somebody breaks you the bad news about the Tooth Fairy, which of course all of the other holiday figures are real, but the Tooth Fairy is ridiculous. Um, once that happens, can you really sell them on it? No. The logic is broken. You've already seen things you can't unsee. You've already heard people make the most ridiculous, asinine uh, uh, arguments for or against something like oh no this smells like shit ain't gonna do it no no i'm not scared enough of this and then they call you scared they call you scared because you you figure okay well i can i can face the flu on my own then 
So what has it been? Because it really hit home, really hit home. Everything reminded me of a time before before all of this, and uh, it sucks.